So here we have B plus basically 19 volt. It will pass through, okay, 19 volt, pass through this ceramic capacitors to be filtered. It will be applied here to this MOSFET. The MOSFET, basically the CPU will uh, control the driver. The driver will control, this guys, basically this driver guys is used here just to make things very accurate because for the CPU, Always we have more components. Why? Because we need a very pure exact voltage, 100% exact voltage for the CPU. So here we have 19 volts. Those MOSFETs will be basically controlled by the driver and the IC to get here how much? 0.9 volt. Here we get 0.9 volt. Why? Using the faucet rule using the faucet rule my friend a lot of water we get here we have 19 volt we get here 0 0.9 volt 0 0.9 volt faucet rule my friends or the tap okay and then here 0 0.9 volt will pass through coil coil with capacitor for filtering and then we will get vcc core we have another channel the first channel here and here we have the second channel why basically we have more channel just in order this channel works uh, for example for three milliseconds this one works three milliseconds and switching work okay it's a shift shift work because all the cpu needs uh, a consistent voltage that's why that's why we have more channels for the ram circuit we have the ice okay we have ice ram i see easy it will receive basically the the inputs and the output will be applied to basically two mosfets okay q q the same working principle this mosfet will be connected to what will be connected to b plus sometimes to b plus sometimes to 3.3 volt and sometimes to 5 volt depending on type of the laptop okay my friends. of course here always we have ceramic capacitors connected to ground in the input the source connected to the drain the source connected to the ground hair controllers by the ice okay so here we will get we will get the voltage the voltage here for the ram the v ram depending on the type of the ram if the ram is ddr5 the voltage will be 1.1 1 volt if the ram is ddr4 the voltage will be 1.2 volt if the ram is ddr Three, the voltage will be 1.5 volts. If the RAM is DDR4, the voltage will be 1.8 uh, volts. And let's see DDR5, DDR how? DDR5, DDR4, DDR3, DDR2, and DDR1, 2.5 volts. Not use it, not use it. Uh, use it a little bit use it this is the used one the r5 okay so here depending on type of the ram we will get here plus v ram if we say the ram is for example ddr5 we will get here how much 1.1 volt for the ram of course here also we have capacitors electrolytic capacitors for filtering and inductor but for the ram this voltage basically 1.1 volts okay 1.1 volts here this one my friend will be applied to another ic we called it divider in order to get what to get the half divider divided by Two, and then we will get 0 0.55 volt for VTT. Okay, my friends. 
sometimes we can find two IC, but sometimes we can find the same IC generate one point and vote and generate also the VTT divided by two. I hope that you understand, my friends. I hope you understand. We have basically discussing three schematic RAM circuit, CPU circuit, and and charge circuit, and also three volt, five volt circuit. Please more likes for the video.